21 year old unconscious man named John was brought into emergency department by ambulance. He had a seizure and tachycardia after taking an unknown amount of cocaine together with alcohol. He was thought to have a mixed cocaine overdose. Human serum can bind up to 10 micromoles of cocaine per liter. Once the binding capacity of cocaine exceeds this limit, free cocaine concentration increases dramatically which leads to toxicity. The half-life of cocaine metabolism is 1 to 1.5 hour. However, its metabolites benzylecanin and cocoethylene have longer elimination half-life, especially when cocaine is consumed with alcohol. Cocaine stops dopamine and noradrenaline transporters at the presynaptic membrane from transferring the neurotransmitters back into neuron. As a result, the user feels more energetic, alert and euphoric. There is no antidote for cocaine. The treatments are mainly to rectify the symptom. 3% of cocaine users will experience convulsion, but the link between cocaine and seizure is not well understood yet. However, GABA receptor agonists such as benzodiazepine and chlormethiazole and glutamate receptor antagonists have been shown to be effective in treating seizures induced by cocaine. Cocaine-associated myocardial infarction occurs in 6% of patients who are presented to the emergency department with chest pain after cocaine use. Dyspnea and diaphoresis are other common indicators of cocaine toxicity. On arrival to emergency department, John regained consciousness but was very agitated. He then complained about headache and chest pain. He was treated with GABA receptor agonists such as benzodiazepine to control chest pain, agitation, and seizure. Cardiopulmonary complaints are the most frequently reported symptoms among cocaine users admitted to hospital. It occurs in up to 56% with chest pain being the single most frequent symptom. Chest pain occurs as a result of coronary artery constriction, which is due to the high amount of noradrenaline in the body induced by cocaine. Vasoconstriction may also cause many other complications, such as myocardial infarction, headache, rhabdomyolysis, and renal failure. In addition to chest pain, John also had ventricular tachycardia. He was given nitroglycerin, which relieves coronary spasm and his chest pain. For patients who do not respond to benzodiazepines and nitroglycerin, calcium channel blockers may be considered. Phentolamine may also be useful for treating cocaine-associated ischemia as it returns the coronary arterial diameter to baseline. By increasing level of catecholamine, cocaine injures the vascular endothelium, increases platelet aggregation and impairs normal fibrinolytic pathway. Therefore, anticoagulant therapy such as aspirin, heparin, clopidogrel was also given to John. Ventricular tachycardia occurs when cocaine binds to the inactivated state of sodium channels and inhibits cardiac potassium rectifier channels in myocardial cells. This can cause cardiac arrhythmia complications such as long QT and ventricular fibrillation. Beta blocker administration is recommended for treating ventricular tachycardia in patients with myocardial infarction. However, John could not be treated with beta blockers, since these drugs can exacerbate coronary spasm induced by cocaine. These arrhythmias may be treated with sodium bicarbonate and amiodarone. Ventricular tachycardia that occurs several hours after cocaine ingestion is mainly as a result of myocardial ischemia. In this case, ventricular tachycardia can be treated with lidocaine and amiodarone. After receiving benzodiazepine, glyceryl trinitrate, amiodarone, sodium bicarbonate, and anticoagulant, chest pain was relieved and the patient was back to sinus rhythm. He was then transferred to cardiac catheterization lab for further examination.